It's good to see the Junkions get some attention, isn't it? I mean, isn't it? Yes, it is. The Junkions are fantastic. I think I relate to them because they like to live in junk and rubbish and watch a lot of TV and no one can understand what they're saying half the time. Scrapbook and Crashbot are part of the Legacy Evolution line. They've got some pretty unique features, so let's stop hanging around like a slug in a belly button and have a look at them. Scrapbook came out first, and if Autocorrect would stop changing every instance of his name to Scrapbook, I'd appreciate it. I immediately fell for this look, just at that asymmetrical head sculpt and all the bits hanging off him, that classic junkie on colour scheme. What's not to like? You get a lot of accessories on the boy, a big spare tyre, you've got his hook, two guns, two big exhausts, and you can get those into any of the 5mm ports all over Scraphook. But we'll keep it classic for now, okay? Due to the nature of his gimmick, Scraphook is held together by a lot of pegs that can occasionally disconnect, but it's not a huge deal. And what's that gimmick, you ask? Well, let's have a look at the transformation first, you weasel. Take off all the accessories and fold his arms outwards with his head folding down, Twist things around and then snap together those legs, bringing the feet in and clicking it all satisfyingly into the front of the vehicle mode. Fold the arms in at the back and we have a really interesting truck mode. The two guns become the engine block and you get the tyre and the hook on the back. The exhausts are on either side. I really do like this mode, folks. It's so different to anything we've seen in the line, it's a lot of fun to mess around with. Look at that great detail on the windshield and the windows, that menacing spiked grill at the front, it really is something special. Now for that big evil fusion gimmick, which actually makes sense for once. Scraphook can be disassembled and then used as armour for other toys. It's similar to what we've seen with fossilizers and weaponizers in the past, but I think this comes together, it's much more coherent. Plus the fact you can transform them without taking them apart is a huge step up. I mean, don't get me wrong, outside of this video, I will never do this again, but it's nice to have the option for you to help pass the time. Crash Bar is a fun wee guy. I genuinely thought he was a core class when they revealed the first pictures. He's so small and slim, especially without his accessories. But like Scraphook, he's very poseable and he has bags of character. Look at that head, I cannot stress how much I love a transformer with facial hair. Turning into a junkie on motorcycle, we of course have two wheels. The back one can detach, it's got a neat gimmick where blades spring out of it. I love it. You also have a reasonably eye-roll inducing set of guns that definitely aren't just motorcycle parts masquerading as weapons. And two exhausts. Again, it's up to you where these go. I like this, the ability to customise your junkions. It feels in line with the characters. They aren't uniform in their appearance. Transformation is pretty familiar motorcycle territory. The body compacts into a cube and the legs become the front and the back. Attach the accessories. That is a handsome bike mode. More so than Legacy Prowl, that's for sure. We do have a big foot sticking off the back, but that's all right. Scrapbook is unfortunately a little bit big for Crash Bar here, but you will be able to find someone that fits, I'm sure. Crash Bar's great, pulling them to bits like Ultra Magnus, we've got the same Evo Fusion armor feature, which is fine, and we should consider just moving on. I really hope we see more Junkions in the next few years that are a welcome, different addition to the overly familiar roster we see endlessly rotating through peaks of relevancy. You can swap parts between each of these lads too, if that's your thing. It's a nice thing to play around with for sure, seeing what kind of monstrosities you can create. The instructions also try to sell this vehicle combination gimmick, and I do like the concept, but I haven't really been able to figure out a combo that doesn't look terrible or really impractical. Maybe if we get more of these guys, we'll have more options. So come on, get a junkie on, get two, or don't, I'm not here to run your finances, bye.